The Rohingya at a makeshift camp of Kutupalong once again held a protest and demanded international protection and a peacekeeping force along with the repatriating Rohingyas on the 31st of October 2018. The Rohingyas sheltering a camp by a Kutupalong makeshift camp held a protest where more than 250 Rohingya men, women and children gathered to demand their justified rights before any repatriation could take place. The protest was organized by a grassroots organization known as the Voice of Rohingyas who is seen in an active role of working for the suffering Rohingyas in the makeshift camps of Cox Bazaar, Bangladesh. The ongoing persecution of the remaining Rohingyas continue to this day in Arakan and in, in its ongoing disastrous situation, Burma continues to hold illogical talks of repatriation. With regards to repatriation, the United Nations were recently alarmed of the forced repatriation where none of the Rohingyas feel safe to return home. Marzuki Darusman, chair of the UN fact-finding mission on Burma, said last week that thousands of Rohingyas who were still fleeing to Bangladesh had faced discrimination and those who remained continued to suffer the most severe restrictions and repression. It is an ongoing genocide that is taking place at the moment, Darusman further added. In today's protest, Rohingyas continued demanding native status, citizenship, security and accountability before there are any talks of repatriation. We demand an international protection force for our safety in Myanmar, chanted a group of Rohingyas protesters at Kutupalong camp. Since 2016, nearly 1.3 million Rohingyas are suffering in makeshift camps in Cox Bazar, Bangladesh. They have been repeatedly demanding that their safety and security before any step towards repatriation is taken. Remaining Rohingyas in Bhuti Dang Township are totally barred from any livelihood activity and they were forced to take any morgue's name if they want to do any form of earning from the 1st of November 2018. Administrator offices from Bhuti Dang Township ordered Rohingyas not to be involved in any livelihood activity. If they want to do so, they must use a morgue's name, that is, if they do not possess Burmese National Identification Card. Due to the current situation, a Rohingya can't do anything, including owning a shop or business, etc., as the Rohingyas have been denied citizenship in their own land officially since 1982. Implementation of such illogical condition will stop Rohingyas from any form of earning and this will seriously affect their living conditions, which is already in a deplorable state. This is simply another way to stop the Rohingyas from any existing form or means of earning. They want to tighten these measures so that we too will leave our homes like the millions of Rohingyas who have gone to Bangladesh, explains a shop owner from Bhutan. Township. Since 2016, more than 1.3 million Rohingyas are sheltering in a makeshift camps of Cox Bazaar, Bangladesh. And now there are plans to wipe out the remaining Rohingyas from the soil of Arakan.